Hey, welcome back to the control room. It's Kai. And Kira. And we are going to be playing more of Kirby's Dream Land 3. Let's look at this beautiful little fella here. We're going to see how we can help him out. The little flower? Yes. Time to clean up the world of evil. Wait, 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 wait. Check this out. Kirby defies physics. How? He can clean... He can... He can clean the air, and little air pockets come out of dust. Oh, well you need that for your place. I actually did. Let's just say that Kai doesn't know how to properly clean things. Uh, yeah I do. I actually did. I, I, I couldn't say the word broom. What is wrong with me? It's been a, it's been a long day. I broom things. You swept, you mean? Yes, I did. Yeah, we'll check what happens with this fella. Is that a burb? It is a burb. His name is Pitch, and I can pitch water balls. But you can't fly on him very well. You're bigger than him. No, but he carries me, and Kirby's just like, Don't draw me, man! Don't draw me, man! And Pitch is like, hey, he's so fat! And I believe I know what I have to do in this game. In this particular stage. Yeah, Pitch has obviously gone to leg day. Just watch it, watch what happens. Wow. Ooh, no, 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 no. I need that. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. So there's a little bud here. We gotta make him grow. Happy little flower. Happy little glove flower. It's a precursor to Glover. You ever play that game? Glover? I don't think so. I I used to have it. I got it out of a flea market and I couldn't play it for the life of me. It's like one of those N64 games I could never complete, like Bomberman 64. Like I could play the battle mode fine, but the adventure mode I always got wrecked on. Oh, I loved Bomberman 64. That's something that we might have to try. We certainly will. I haven't played it in forever, though. So, just like most of the N64. Well, so Kai did get me a N64 a couple years ago for Christmas. So we've been playing that, and that's how we start so this, rough. obviously. And um, the games that we've been playing are the ones that like we've been playing re more recently, but eventually we're going to start getting into games that we haven't really played in like forever. Like this game that Kai is playing, we haven't played this. Yeah, I, I, I've I owned it on the original Super NES, I've owned it on the Virtual Console, I've owned it on the Dream Collection disc that came out with... Kirby Return to Dreamland. Not Return to Dream. Yeah, it was. It was the Wii version, then there was another compilation package that had all three Dreamlands that had Superstar and Adventure and Kirby 64. Let's see. Or like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game that we have been playing. You can go back and watch those episodes. Um, yeah, I've never played that one until now. Yeah, and I haven't played those in years, and I'm just getting destroyed up in hell. Gatorade! Uh, he got the Gatorade. I got it. I got the... What is it supposed to be a Gatorade? It, it looks like a it's Gatorade. It's peppy. It's like a pep drink or something. That's what they call it. It's a Gatorade. While all the bad guys are drinking their Haterade. Haterade. But after you eat some candy most dandy, you feel like you could take on the Cowboys. Well, I mean, they're not a very good football team. Ah, yeah. Kai is a pretty much lifelong Dallas fan, and I don't football. This is my father before me, and I don't know about his dad, but... My family's team is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hey, could anything's better than the Patriots? Go right ahead. 
but that's because we have a... We're the Steelers. We, we <laughs> used to have a large family in Jacksonville, but they're not so large anymore. Rest in peace. Whoa, check this out. No, rest in peace. Yeah, every family is different, and every family goes through hardships, but as long as you still have family, as long as you still talk to them and at least tell them how you feel, that's one step closer to bringing everybody together and being one in your heart. Yep. Especially in these trying times with... The Backstreet Boys... Reading. Well, we don't want to steal the Game Grumps thing. <laughs> Game Grumps... Sorry, Game Grumps. I, just, I thought it was funny, and I wanted to say it once. Game Grumps fan since... Well, really since Danny took over, because I loved all the stuff with John and Aaron, but it just seemed like the two kind of were more in the same kind of guys, which was really funny, but the balance seemed way better when Danny came, because he's just such a chill guy. But John Tron's hilarious, they're all funny, but what should... What, what should we call it? For those of you that have seen Donkey Kong Country the series, since we're playing a game show... What, do you want to start calling this Ape Prom? No, that's something different, but we're going to call this the Big Bog Monster. The Big Bog Monster. The Big Bog Monster is coming after you. I'm going to put a link to the video in the description. It is a song that is so bad, it is amazing. And since I am a fish with kind, I can swim a against... A fish with a parasol. Yeah, I can... I can actually swim against currents, which is very good for collecting star pieces. But you're missing a lot of them. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to get hit so much that I lose my star. You gotta get your ups! Get my ups, I'm gonna get the Maxim Tomato. I'm gonna try not to get hit. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this, this, this power-up is useless under the water going like that because... Get the Be Because I gotta do something at the end of the stage with this. Because there was like a little, you saw in the little level lights or stage icon that there was like, okay, see this guy, it's an Easter egg wearing a tutu, he's got a cold or something, that little nose. He drip. doesn't look like an Easter egg, he looks like a, like a pineapple something wrong with him, but I gotta match what he does. He and looks like a pineapple. I cured his I cured his cold. That or he was just crying because he had nobody to hang out with. So I'm gonna get a power-up that actually works. Just gonna be fire. Hey, check it. Hey, check out what I can do. Straight fire! I miss that from Becky Lynch so much. She I'm, doesn't do the straight fire thing anymore? No, she doesn't. That's Two baby faces, face it. Do two baby face for her. I was gonna say baby face ish. I'm like, I got so marble mouth. But I miss like she's called the man. But if they just called her straight fire Becky Lynch, I think that'd be even cooler. I just, I still think the man and the man's man is hilarious. It is. <laughs> Funny. Seth's a right jerk, but you know what? At least he's... He's into he's it. He's doing well. He's yeah. into it. Still, I'd just love to see Orange Cassidy just come up between them and be like, What was up? And I got a big fat nothing. Fail. Here we go. Level 3. The Gordo level, or the minigame level. But this time, I gotta deal with an eel. Eels. Yay, barely! I'm gonna try and get some escalators. Oh man, that that just makes me miss old school SpongeBob so much. Like, can you just imagine? Th this came out two years before SpongeBob, but can you just imagine SpongeBob in the Kirby universe? They're like, Kirby, you're not supposed to launch beams of cutting, or however you call. It. No, that's what Patrick called. They're called beams of cutting there, Spongebob, and you use them when the carnival's in town. S Squidward would just look at Kirby and be like, Kirby, you're not supposed to be going to destroying everything. 
I'm trying to play terribly on my clarinet. Lol. Let me see if I can try something here. I'm gonna work with Rick. But you know what Squidward really should be asking himself? Or mm. Patrick should really be asking? If like, if Patrick or Spongebob hear Squidward's awful clarinet playing and Patrick's just like, is your clarinet an instrument? Yes, Patrick. Well, it doesn't sound like one. It kind of sounds like a dying cat. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I've had people prove that it is. <laughs> I've at least tried to play the mayonnaise packets. And no, that's not a euphemism. Okay, so I gotta find and spot the eel. I can't find escalators, I gotta find an eel. <laughs> look at that look on Kirby's face. Sorry, I was looking at something. Not paying attention! He's got that baby Yoda face going. Can't even see his face, because Rick's covering it. Eeyo. Ah! Hooray! Uh, look at that little waddle -dee. He's just a, a little kind of enclave, like... He's, he's in a little lifeboat, or a, or a floaty, I can't tell if yeah, it's a lifeboat Yeah, and he's just safe from all the troubles of Ripplefield. He's just like, I'm gonna be practicing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking my son and the neighbor boy camping and just... Just continue. Hey, I'm establishing war here. Maybe maybe he's a scout master. He's a Kirby scout master and he teaches them how to... A Kirby scout? Yeah. The Kirby Scouts. So, so who are the Kir Kirby Scouts? Uh, uh, well, it's just, it's like a pop star scout master or something like that. A pop star? Yeah, because pop yeah. star's where they live. Pop and Dreamland is in pop star, so maybe they start off as a waddle dee, then they become a waddle doo, who can shoot lasers, and then maybe they just become... A, a waddle scooby doo? See, now that'd be amazing. Scooby dooby doo. Scooby doo in the Kirby universe. Like, roaring duty, and then Shaggy's just like, like sawing scoops. What is this guy eating, man? He eats more than we do. Oh, you got bit by a shark. It's sh it's Sharknado the prequel. Oh god. <laughs> Jump. The Jump. fact that Chris Jericho is in a Sharknado movie. Ye he lasted like what, 24 or 26 seconds or 20 minutes, something like that. It was, it was, it was, it was probably more painful than the 69 tax. 69 tax, Ambrose. Then again, <sighs> ooh, this little froggy boy. He looks like a potato. I'm a frog. He, he has two little dots for cheeks and. Oh, I'm. I, I kind of remember this course. This is a. This is a. This is a tough fella right here. It's pretty. It is. Little waterfalls and a. Yeah, the skull dude. The graphics in this game, you know, I still contend that Kirby Superstar is the best out of the Kirby games, but just the artwork, the line work, the use of colors in Kirby games are second to none. And, this game just went all out saying, okay, everything's moving to 3D. We're going to give you an amazing 2D experience that's picturesque, works with the softer kind of style. With a swimming hamster. Yeah. Hamsters can swim and breathe underwater indefinitely. Okay. I don't think that my hamsters that I had could breathe underwater. This game is flawed. All games are flawed. Well, are you gonna pick the jellyfish or the what's that a cat over there? Yep. I don't know. I might need to go with. Con
technical difficulties there, fellas. It was somebody probably trying to want to get our credit card details. Oh, I think I know what I have to do here. I need to find... Okay, it looks like you're in Mount Moon now. A little bit. Not keeping those doors. Hold on. Ooh. Oh. Gotta wait for it to drop, then you can go through. Okay, there's something I'm supposed to do here. I Clearly. Need, I need to find the electric power-up. <sighs> I need to find Spark, but where is it? Because there's like a hidden door somewhere. I know I'm supposed to go. Well, if you're looking for Spark, she's at home. Oh, your pupper. And the pupper named Spark. Sparky. Oh. Call her Spark. Well, wait. There you go. Spark, Sparky, Parky girl. I think I found my way. Variety of names for the pupper. All right, it's a gigantic Gordo. All right, you want to play ball with me, boy? He looks like one of those um, spike balls that yeah. are on chain. What? A chain chomp? No, you know those. Um, what are they? Oh, those? a mace. Is that what it's called? The spike ball and a chain? Yeah, like a flail or a mace. It's one of those old time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh no! Good job. I had already lost plenty of health. Come on, jackhole. There you go. See, when Gordos release their spikes, they become vulnerable. And I just. You missed. I missed them by. A lot. About a country mile right there. But if I jump right into the stream of the water, my jump gets stunted. Well, why don't you have a power-up? You just had one. Because when you lose your life, you lose your power-up and your animal friend. Oh, right, yeah. You gotta start from scratch. Come on. Come on after me. Come on and at me, bro. Whew. Don't get that close to him. No, oh, good job. You hit the wall. I'm just gonna dance to this. There you go. That ought to, that ought to and learn. now you're a spike ball. And there's the froggy. And I got him. Amazing frog. I do love how the physics of the waterfalls <coughs> work. Stop that. I'm guessing Kira is experiencing a glitch. She's going to be rebuffering now. It's not the big bog monster, but... I don't even know what that was. Uh, I'm trying to drink water and it went down wrong. Too. Oh, yeah. You know, when you... Check it out. Giant frog. I brought him back his son or his daughter or her son or her daughter. You know what? I can't judge. I don't know. I don't know that frog story. <sighs> Whose stories do we actually know? If you'd like to share your story, go ahead and just share it with us in the comments below. And there's a little pink bird, so that means... Penguin? Our friend Pitch maybe key here. <sighs> oh. Okay. There we go. I think I'm okay now. <sighs> there was a bone in that water apparently. That's what my dad says when you water goes down the wrong yeah, that works. There was a bone in it. Ooh. There we go, the spike power up's gonna be extraordinarily <sighs> important. And the, and the funny thing is that in a lot of Kirby games... So you're a sea urchin now. Yeah. 
What's really funny is that in a lot of Kirby games, power cycle out. Like you see here, we have a lot fewer, we have many fewer power-ups. Like this one wasn't in Kirby Superstar. It's mainly in the Dreamland games. <sighs> and I'm gonna need this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. And now you're not a sea urchin anymore. No, I'm gonna now you're a fish. I am... I had to dissect a sea urchin one time. I am a blowfish. That was a weird experiment. Because he had to get all the pointy needles off of it first without, you know, impaling your fingers and... I'm about to cut someone. Give me a minute. Yeah, and then you had to do that when you dis when we dissected the sea urchin. I dissected a, I dissected a lot oh, of weird things guy. that year. Or maybe I do need him. If he's in a special room, I might need him. I might need this old fiery dragon. <sighs> okay, so let's... Uh... <sighs> But I need pitch. Well, you don't have pitch. You have a blowfish. Let's see here. What can Ugh. I do? Okay, I see what's going on here. I need to find a stone ability, but where shall I find him? Oh, son of a... Oh, wait a minute. I, I I know what I'm doing. I have to... I think I have to leave him here. Go and get the ability. Oh! I should not have done that. Good job. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just do the magic respawning trick. Yeah, there we go. Become a rocky fish. I'd make a fish joke, but I don't think they're a rock band. I think they're a hippie band. Let me see. Fish band? The P H I S H, like the fish. P Remember when Bill said, in King of the Hill said, the fish are having a concert in Houston? Google Whoa. says it's a rock band. Dang! Well, what do you know? Okay, so now I gotta. Wait, oh, wait, 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 Okay, so I've got a... I'm glad I got the tomato. But I got to go this way now. There he is. Thank you, sir. I know you're gonna make a fish go underwater. Oh, no. What kind of animal cruelty are you doing? I put him in his natural habitat. Wait, unless this birds, is all... Birds don't belong underwater. In Kirby, birds can go wherever they wish. Birds don't belong underwater. Whatever, I do what I want. What kind of animal cruelty is this? the finest animal cruelty you'll ever see in 16 bits on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Aw, oh, you lost your star power. Oh, good. As long as I don't get hit by Gordos. <sighs> there it is. <sighs> This is about to turn into something quite perilous. With a capital pear. It's a big old pear. It's late, y'all, but we are bringing the entertainment to you. Yeah. 
filming this super late. I decided to. We do we go to make it to our bedtime. Oh wait. I mean, we don't have a bedtime on the weekends, but I mean, we do get tired. And at a, at a, at a point, you're just like, it's bedtime. Oh yeah, that's why we're not watching a movie tonight. Speaking of movies, movie re reviews will be coming eventually. I finished the script for the first one. I'm so accomplished. Now, not if there really. are any movies that you guys would like us to review, leave it down below in the comments and we will add it to the list. <gasps> I found my mom! I'm gonna leave him with his mom. And it might even already be on the list. So. It could be. And if it's on the list, we'll let you know it's already on the list. We watch a lot of movies. We have no lives. Old. New. All kinds. Except for a lot of horror movies because Kira doesn't like them. I can watch horror movies. Kira, don't do horror. Me. Sorry. Kira, don't do horror. So any movie reviews that are horror will be flying solo from with Kai. I might got some friends that'll do them with me. Yeah, or we can see if we can bring some friends along. I do have a friend. Well, we have a friend. I got people. And I actually want him to come on and talk about the new Star Wars movie because he had a really interesting point about it on social media the other day. So would that be who I'm thinking about right now that you wanted to send the pocket sand comment to? Yes. I want to. I want to. I want to do a video with him, man. That Yes, so hopefully at some point we'll have um, some guests on our show. And he's way more into Star Wars. I love Star Wars, but he, he reads the books. He, he knows his stuff, so. Me, I'll just shoot my shot right here. I liked The Last Jedi. I really love The Force Awakens. And... Rise of Skywalker actually, yeah, it did hurt me. <coughs> so, those of you that want to leave hate comments, go ahead and do it now. <laughs> and hopefully next year, maybe we can get a celebrity guest on. Because there is somebody that I'm kind of friends with. So, we won't say a name. Come Just on. in case we can't get set person. Come on, come on. I messed this up. Uh, this might be a point where I need our friend Google. Googly? Yeah. Well, hold on, you not. There is no Googling this stuff when it in in I our mean my ways. our superior knowledge. We have to use our superior knowledge. That or we can always record again. I'm gonna redo the level until I get it right. Well, maybe there's a way I can. Yeah. I can just peek. I think he's on the second level. Oh, there we go. Boing. That poor kitty cat. Oh, Mago. Or Nagao. Wow. I forget it. Oh. And he's rolling you. That's funny. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> All of a sudden, Limp Biscuits in the background. Ugh. And Limp Biscuit has some good songs. I liked one of their songs for a little bit, and then it got annoying. Oh man, man. something's up here. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I need to know what I. I think. Does Kai know what he's doing? We'll find out. Coming up. Who do kick his legs? <laughs> Yes, such a fat so. In the meantime, okay. Kai makes cat kick legs. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to make a pattern. I need to make one, three, five, three, one. Which need, which means I need to blow big ol' air bubbles. That one be a one. Yeah, this is gonna take a little doing. Three. Come on, kick them cat legs. 
Bye. Be useful. Oh my Three. dog. Sorry, dog people in here. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so we can't be cat people. Oops. You messed up. Good job. I was waxing poetically about doggos and I. Take two. Okay. One. Yeah, I need to do it like George Lucas says, faster and more intense. <laughs> that was a great funny, but faster and more intense. Three. I, I just love that one part in the, in the Empire of Dreams documentary where Anthony Daniels is, Five. Three. is talking about how he would read his lines for C-3PO, how he would act them, and then George Lucas would be like, well, that was great, Tony, but we need faster and more intense. And he's like, I don't think fast C-3PO being faster and more intense would be bearable, do you? One. Just look at the star effects right here. Just how long can you make this cat pull its breath, though? Poor kitty kitty. Yeah, but look at just look at the colorful effects. Is right it there. is it PC? Is it part cat? Probably. I don't know if he's PC, bro. He could be PC. I don't uh, know. So much for a Power Rangers fan. He didn't get the reference. I... I went through a period of time where I was lapsed. We gotta rewatch okay. Power Rangers. Apparently so. season 3 and Zio. Possibly Turbo. Well, I was making a PC joke to... To appeal to slash annoy today's youth. To me, being woke means that you're up and at him. That's just how, that's just the kind of old person I am. And this gigantic big old puzzle piece is happy that I created this masterpiece. And you got the Gatorade. I guess I am woke after all. I'm contributing to, because I believe Pep Brew is made on Popstar, I am contributing to small business. So now I get to help a whale? No, I got to beat up a whale. So I went from helping small businesses in my community to environmental destruction and complete annihilation of a species. So. Oh. So you're like, well, I won't say it. Yeah, but just check it out. There's a whale on his left. He's using his tail, his tail fin as a pair of legs. Just how cool is that? Again, another animal that is, oh, there we go. Now he's in the water. Yeah, no, now I... he's in his native Habitat. Habitat. And he's spitting out anchors. Is he in the Navy? Yes. Dang it. I'm in some... I'm in trouble now. Okay. I'm just gonna leave you right there. Ow! I'm... Oh, I just got wrecked. Good job. Hmm. I gotta think about this, because I can beat him. I'm just thinking, should I go back to another level and get some power-ups? Because out of all the bosses outside of um, Dark Matter, this one's like second hardest. Because level 3 you can take care of, level 4 you can take care of. If you know what you're doing with DDD, you'll do fine. Ow, ow. Well, now you don't have a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Oh. Oof. Th he's shooting his children at me. Or she. They're attack children. This isn't right. There are labor laws against this. 
means I gotta get in at point blank at PBR. I'm not talking PABS, we're talking point blank range. But it doesn't mean a darn thing right now, does it? Get in the center of all of the power and ethereal energy. I'm giving Kirby such a seizure right now. And with that... I have cleared Ripple Field, restored peace, destroyed a species and an environment, but now we're going to get into the really tricky stuff with level 3. So next time, on the control room, it's Sand Ho at Sand Canyon. And we will see you next time. Later.